You guys know what time it is. It's coffee time. Early in the morning. I don't drink coffee every day and I'm also not a legit coffee person. I drink all my coffee with creamer. I don't like the taste of black coffee. It's kind of nasty. Something about making coffee in the morning, it just inspires me. I've actually been playing like lo-fi hip hop music in the background, specifically Lush Lo-Fi, along with this lo-fi channel my wife and I started that'll be linked down below, really to just fill the space and just make me feel more inspired and motivated to create. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jossie and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five reasons why I love being a software engineer. I've made a bunch of videos about computer science and software engineering. Now be sure to link those playlists in the description box. Also made quite a few videos talking about like five reasons why you shouldn't become a specific type of developer, which is why I decided to make a more positive video talking about the doing what I love as a software developer and hopefully inspiring you to do the same. Okay, so this light is clearly, it's too bright. It's kind of distracting. So I'm gonna bump that brightness down a little bit. All right, so ultimately, I wanted to just take a brief moment to highlight the five reasons why I love software engineering, which are probably the reasons why the industry is so popular and why so many people want to become a developer. Thank you to Flujo Tech for sponsoring this video. Before we continue, I want to let you know that there are timestamps. So I wanted to break this video up into really five chapters, or at least that's the technical term of the YouTube feature where you can see the timestamps integrated into the video. One of the best things that software development has to offer is its flexibility. One of the main things I talk about or ask um, a recruiter if I'm you know, looking into a job or interviewing for it is the flexibility, the flexibility to be able to change roles, the flexibility to be able to work from home, you know, work remotely. The reason being is because we spend so much time at our desk, whether you're working from home or in the office programming, it's important to be able to have the flexibility to enjoy the things that you love outside of work, along with the flexibility to work away from the office if you have to you know, tend to something at home or you just wanna have the ability to travel but not use up all your PTO, along with being able to visit you know, friends and family and be able to work in other locations. I remember there was this time where I literally got invited to Switzerland. It was just such an amazing opportunity. The trip was gonna be 12 days from like the, the, the day I got the phone call. And I remember telling my you know senior manager that I had this really cool opportunity and I'd love to be able to like, you know, take vacation and go on this trip, even though it's pretty short notice. 12 days isn't horrible, but I remember feeling so good about having the flexibility to travel and when, you know, really dope opportunities arise where you gotta, you know, go out of the country, you know, in a few days or in a week's notice, being able to do that and also be able to work, you know, wherever this opportunity takes me for, you know, a specific amount of time. It's so funny because I only use like one day of vacation, but I was gone for like three days. That's because one, my senior manager trusted that I would get the work done, but two, as a software engineer, you have the ability to work from anywhere as long as you have Wi-Fi. I also worked on the weekend to make up for the time I missed, but that's an example of the flexibility that a lot of other, you know, industries don't offer. We can thank a lot of that to version control and being able to work, you know, across the world and being on the same team, you know, writing code for a company or an app you're developing. It's really flexible. I don't think it gets any more flexible than that. Before we continue this video, I just want to take a moment to talk about Flujo Tech and their new Power Edge monitor stand with modular USB-C multifunction docking station. Flujo Tech has created a number of products that are just beautifully crafted 
and design, but they're also really functional, solving a lot of those problems that people, especially who are Mac users, have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. The Flujo Power Edge is one of those outstanding innovations that, that they've created and are looking to fund. I'll be sure to link their campaign in the description box. I've actually been using the Power Edge monitor stand and docking station for quite some time. And let me tell you, this thing, this monitor stand is perfect for you Mac users who are tired of dongles, along with those of you who wanna clear up your workspaces. By having less cables, give your monitor a little bit of height with a stand, but also having the functionality of attaching and detaching the USB-C hub so you could, you know, take it on a go. At first, when I looked at their product, I couldn't believe that it was so minimal, but also functional. As a creator, I appreciate all the ports in one central location. You got VGA, HDMI, Ethernet, USB-C, USB 3.1, SD, and TF card reader and audio. If you wanna learn more about the Flujo Power Edge, the world's first monitor stand and USB-C docking station, check out the campaign below along with the Kickstarter page. And you can also sign up for the newsletter so you can be updated on campaign goals along with discounts and more information. If you like this product at all, why not pledge or you know at least check out the page, sign up for the newsletter because this is a really cool, innovative product that I actually really enjoy using. It's made my workspace a lot less cluttered and you don't have to deal with those annoying dongles. Thanks again to Flujo Tech for sponsoring this video. Outside of the flexibility of you know working in a different location. I know that doesn't matter because a lot of you all may want to be in the office. I know I'm someone that really enjoys being in the office, but I actually really have enjoyed the benefits of working from home. Feels like remote at this point, but also the flexibility to you know change careers, to grow in your career, create new jobs based on what you're working on. As a software developer, we know that there are a multitude of career paths you can go through or different types of software development. You have mobile, full creativity. I mean, I'm a creative and not just with, you know, filmmaking, but in the code I write in the projects we create and how we develop them. Contrary to what some people think software developers do, you know, never talking to people in solitude, boring programming, looking at the screen all day. It's actually a quite creative job. I mean, the most popular companies in the world are tech companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Airbnb, and so many more. These companies were founded by small groups of people or one person with an idea, and then they took that idea, translated it into code, and then something tangible that people could use. Ultimately, that's the beauty of software engineering, having this idea that maybe solve you know, a problem you may have, which probably thousands of other developers are having, and taking that idea translating it to code and building something tangible that people can use out in the real world. Ah, man, that's good. Whenever I drink coffee in my videos, I always feel like Peter McKinnon. All right, opportunity. The, the main reason why I became a computer scientist and you know got interested in writing code was because of opportunity. The funny story is when I was younger, I used to want to be like a lawyer or like an ESPN analyst. And of course I had hoop dreams too. But my dad used to always say like how many lawyers run employed. Um, but then just talking about like how difficult it is going into something like communications and being like really successful and you know, having a stable job, ultimately just having a stable job. And um, he used to be like, you know, you should be an engineer or like a nurse or a doctor, something in STEM. And I'm very grateful to him for that. I'm sure he's watching this video. Thanks dad for that. Really appreciate it. But the software development industry actually offers a lot. We're pretty spoiled. Like we're, we're really spoiled <laughs> within the software development world. I mean, some companies have like free breakfast, lunch, dinner, an amazing environment to work work in and along with you know being able to go to conferences for free and having you know stipends when you go on these conferences and to meet all these amazing people and you know go to Denver or like Seattle or somewhere you know San Francisco London New York City to learn more about software development and to 
you know, take those things you learned, apply them to your company, and other developers that didn't get a chance to go to those conferences. The opportunities are really endless when it comes to software development, because I mean, software kind of makes the world go around. Could you imagine mailing in a job application or needing to call every company you owe a bill to? or not having internet or smartphones. I mean, it's it's quite barbaric. The job market is also really great, continues to grow. Obviously, everyone is investing in the digital space. People are, companies need facelifts on their websites and applications. There's competition, you know, who has the best product, who offers the best services, who has the best customer service, who has the best user experience. Then there's so many people investing in software because we solve problems through code, right? It is what it is. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about salary, but we all know that salary is important, especially if you're working a job for 40 hours, it better be worth your while. And we also know that software development pays pretty well. It may take some time to get to where you wanna get, but ultimately once you have, you know, X amount of years underneath your belt, or you work, you know, got a job at a specific company, you're going to make a really good salary, you know, even six figures. According to Glassdoor, for a software engineer, the average salary is $92,000. Um, salary is important. It may not be the most important thing, but that's easy to say when you're in an industry that already pays well. At that point, you're just trying to figure out which opportunity is best for you. Also, software development can really improve the quality of life if you're looking to make a career change because you're tired of, tired of like dead end jobs, um, tired of not making enough money, wanting to have more opportunity. Software development is definitely the way to go. But understand this, that it is challenging and it will take some time, but it is worth it. All right, last but not least, community. I actually really enjoy the quirky software development community. We have an open source community, which is an amazing way to innovate collectively through code. We have so many organizations that invest in people's ideas to make dreams come true that will help the world in some capacity. We also have amazing creators on YouTube and other platforms where they share their experiences, you know, how to become a better developer, how to become a developer, along with tutorials to help you, you know, brush up on some skill sets or just to improve the current skill sets that you have. Honestly, guys, I love it. You know, I know I have videos about five reasons why you shouldn't do this and do that. Those videos are really to raise awareness of like the negative sides of software development or a specific type of software development, but ultimately I love this field and I wouldn't change anything. If I could do it all over again and go to college, I would still major in computer science. Only thing different I do is more side projects. So that concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it at all. Comment down below five reasons why or some reasons why you enjoy software development or why you aspire to be a software developer or engineer. Subscribe to the channel. I love for you all to become part of the fam. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know right away when I release a video. I definitely try to respond to everyone that's commented within the first hour or so. Once again, thank you to Flujo Tech for sponsoring this video. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. Peace.